Welcome inside Bank of America Stadium for our first chat with Panthers' new offensive coordinator, Norv Turner. Norv, welcome. Curious, though, you spent the last year stress-free in San Diego. Why come back? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it ever gets out of your blood. Uh, you know, I, uh, I enjoyed the, the year off. Uh, I enjoyed watching football as a fan. You know, you still look at it from the coaching standpoint, but... Uh, you know, I miss it, and I miss being around the guys, the players. Uh, but I did always say, if when people ask me, are, are you going to coach again, I'd say it would have to be with the right person uh, in, the, in the right place. And obviously, this uh, Carolina fit both of those. Uh, my re re relationship with, with uh, Coach Rivera, and then, uh, you know, this team is, you know, an exciting team to be part of. Yeah, Ron considers you a mentor. So what do you think it'll be like working for him now? Well, it's, uh, you know, when you get to this, to this level, and, and it is, I'm working for him, and he worked for me, but, you know, he coached the defense, and we, we communicate and work uh, amazingly well together, and I expect it to be the same way, and, and things that he wants to get done, obviously we're going to do. Uh, this will be your second time working with your son, Scott. What was that like the first time around? How's that dynamic? Well, the, the great thing is we've been together and we've coached a system and uh, he's very good uh, coaching the quarterbacks. Uh, he's also coached the receivers uh, uh, when we were first together. Uh, you know, he was with Rob Chizinski in this system here uh, for two years. So he's kind of from the ground up been, been involved with it. So I've, I've got a lot of faith and a lot of trust and uh, you know, you, you eliminate some of the uh, confusion. Uh, we know, uh, you know, I think he knows exactly what we're trying to get done, and he communicates with the quarterbacks extremely well. When you look at this roster offensively, what are your first impressions? Well, there's, it's exciting. I mean, the offensive line uh, had a really good year last year. Uh, there's nobody like Cam. You know, I mean, he's, uh, he, he can really do anything you want to do, and... Uh, you know, the, the one thing that's jumped out at me is the young receivers. Uh, I know they had some injuries this year, but uh, I liked what I saw on tape. And, uh, you know, obviously with Stewart and then the, with uh, Kristen, Kristen's uh, same thing. I mean, he, he, he had an unbelievable rookie year and did a lot of things, did a lot more than, than a lot of people would, would be asked to do and handle them all. And, uh, you know, there's still a great upside. How much have you been able to watch over the first week, and how far do you plan to go back? Well, the, the great thing is, as I said, I, Carolina was one of the teams that uh, uh, I had great interest in during the season, so I watched, watched all their games. So, I, you know, you, you get a different sense watching an actual game than watching the tape. So that was good. I have a familiarity with the team, and then, uh, you know, you go start back through the tape. Uh, I'm not going very far back, uh, you know, what we're, we're always looking forward and uh, I think there's some things we can do to uh, continue to grow the offense and, uh, you know, help all these guys, uh, you know, the, I always tell them if you do something real well, we're going to give you a chance to do it. The more things you do well, the more opportunities you're going to get. So that's the approach we'll take. Most of the quarterbacks you've been successful with have been of the standard pocket passer variety. Cam Newton is not. Will there be a learning curve for both of you as you start to work together? No, because a lot of the things that we'll do with Cam, the system's in place. And we actually, uh, at different times with, with Bridgewater, ran some of the Carolina stuff. Uh, you know, we, it wasn't to feature Teddy as a runner, but it opened up run, running lanes. Uh, Teddy's first start, we, we used a lot of the zone read stuff against Atlanta and, and um really had a big game against them so you know same thing there's certain things that this coaching staff the offensive staff have used we're going to continue to use those things uh you know i always i always think it's important for the quarterback that when you're in the pocket the things you're doing uh to be very uh, quick with the ball be specific get the ball out and that's where i think we can help cam have you talked to him yet yeah i mean you you can't talk football or doing any of that, but I've had a chance to visit with him, and obviously Scott has a history with him. Uh, you know, he was here when he was drafted, and, and they installed this offense for him. So uh, I think that, that transition will be uh, very comfortable. When I walked in your office the other day, I, I saw you watching film, and I just got a quick glimpse of 
of CAM, not, again, in your first week here, have you learned anything perhaps by w watching him a little bit more closely or were, are you just already well versed, completely well versed in, in all things CAM? No, I, I think, you know, you don't really get a great understanding until you get on the field with him and, and communicate and go through the meetings and all that and that's obviously going to come when we get into OTAs and all that. Uh, the one thing that I do believe with the quarterback, particularly a guy who's played as much as Cam, uh, he, he, there's things he can improve on and there's things he can get better at, like all of us. But the way he's going to make the most improvement is we've got to get the people around him continuing to play at a higher level. And I believe that can happen because it's, it's really a young group of receivers and that's where you make the big jumps. You know, uh, Minnesota, you know, we had Diggs and Thielen and, and every year we had them, you just watch them get better and the, and the finished product or the product they are right now is pretty darn good. So what can he improve on? I think the, there's some technical things in, in the drop, uh, in the vision, where you're looking, when you're looking, uh, that we can uh, help and, and get the ball out quicker. We can help with his uh, accuracy, uh, you know, and then continue to find the things he does best uh, and let him do those. You mentioned the accuracy. I guess if we drill into that a little bit more, how can you specifically improve the accuracy? Well, he's, he's naturally an accurate passer, but I think uh, that's what you get into the relationship he has with the receivers. Uh, he's, had, he's had a lot of changes at the receiver position the last three or four years. So uh, getting those guys together and getting the receivers doing the same things over and over and over again uh, so he knows what to expect and, and you know, how guys are running routes, those type of things, uh, uh, that will help him. He's also really streaky. When he, when he gets on a roll, he can be, he can be really good. But the bad, the bad moments, those bad streaks, is there a way to minimize those now as he goes into his eighth year? Yeah, I think you know, it's what we're talking about, uh, continuing to give him the things he's most comfortable with. Uh, and that's not unique to Cam. I've been uh, in a few of these NFL cities now, and uh, you, know, there's, there, you tend to be a little more critical of your guy uh, than maybe a guy down the road who throws five in straight in incompletes, you know, and, but he's in the Pro Bowl, so you say, well, God, I wish Cam would be more like him or something like that. There's a lot of guys uh, that would like to have their quarterback playing like Cam is. But because of your history, people are going to say, well, maybe Norv wants to make him into a pa pocket passer now. I, I was with Alex Smith in his second year, and we featured the things Alex did best, and we ran naked when we ran quarterback draws and we did quarterback keeps and then we helped him improve as a uh, pocket passer and he made a, a real transformation from year one to year two. I mean I think that second year was people said wait Alex this guy is you know, number one draft pick and will be an outstanding player so uh, you know I wouldn't limit my experience to being a guy that has to stay in that pocket. We've, we've had success with a lot of different guys. 